Hey everyone, welcome back. This is my review of World Trigger Episode uh, 7. Very interesting episode, but before I get into what happened in this episode and a theory that I have, very simple theory, but I still have a theory, I want to talk about the opening. Now, I love this opening, I really do, but what is Toei Animation thinking putting it in the center of the fucking episode like? I think it was just a ploy to make people think the episode's shorter than it actually is, which I don't know why they'd want to do that. I think they want to make people think that it's longer than it actually is in some way. But yeah, seriously, because I know it seems like a minor thing to complain about. and doesn't affect the overall quality of the episode, I don't think. But seriously, though, when I watch an anime episode, I expect the opening to be at the beginning. Or maybe, like, there's a brief few couple, two or three minute scene in the beginning, and then we have the opening. Okay. Because it really takes me out of the episode when I have the, when I have like half the episode, then I have the fucking opening. Like, I'm not expecting it to be in this episode, then it's in the fucking middle. Like, I'm not expecting this at all, seriously. So, yeah, I guess I'll just leave it at that. But seriously, it kind of irritates me a bit. But anyways, though, this week's episode of World Trigger was really good as always. Now... When Kuga was using a replica to test Chika's Trion levels, did you see the fucking size of that goddamn, like, cube? Goddamn, she has so much fucking Trion, and pr she probably had this in, like, a very young age and whatnot. So it's really insane how huge it is, and I sense that our... I'm going to make a theory right now, and the theory is, because this is a shonen battle manga series, anime manga series, and so it's cliches like this have been used before, and that's why I'm going to guess that she's probably like half human, half a uh, neighbor, she's a hybrid, a hybrid, and the reason I say that is because, you know, it's been used before, is that there's probably half and half, ha half a uh, neighbor, half human in this series, other than her, but she's probably like the first one we've ever ever met. That's my guess as to why her Trion levels are so high and why neighbors are attracted to her so much. Okay. So, yeah. So that's my guess, okay. And that would be pretty interesting if that actually did happen. Now, in terms of the fight, you know, we learned from the end of the last episode that well, these two uh, border agents from the Mikumo squad, I think they were called, are basically on to Kuga and Osamu. And, well, let, I didn't really think they were going to confront them so soon, but that's something I really admire about the series, and someone in my last episode review did comment it as well, that when, the, when it's talking about revealing stuff in the series, it doesn't really take too long. It's not like, say, Bleach in terms of Shonen, where, you know, they'll hint at some... Or they'll, they'll reveal something or hint at something in one chapter, but it'll take like 50 fucking chapters to get back to it, roughly. You know, it's not like that. It's generally in the next fucking episode, which is really good, okay? So, yeah, and the fight was really fucking awesome as well. Kuga is still a bona fide badass, okay? And it's really kind of funny because... Uh, Osamu actually calls up Jean to ask him to come to help, and apparently Jean was already aware of the fight, and he was actually observing it, and he basically told us Osamu to sit tight and watch, because Kuga won't be beaten by them. <laughs> which is really kind of interesting, because they're two A-rank border agents, which I thought A-rank border agents were supposed to wear, like, the uh, red clothes instead of, like, these black clothes, so I thought maybe they were rare border agents that were higher than A-rank. But oh, apparently they are A-ranks, and, and apparently, according to Jean, Kuga is stronger than them. And that also brings up another point. How would Jean know this? Does Jean know Kuga from the past? Or can he just tell me, maybe maybe he knows that human-like or that uh, human -like border, or neighbors are actually stronger than any like beast-like neighbors? Okay. That could very well be the case. I'm sure, though, that because he said that, he really knows something about about uh, Kuga that we don't know yet, and that even Osamu doesn't know yet. Maybe that, uh, I don't know, maybe that Os 
Kuga doesn't know about himself, but I highly doubt that, but I guess that could be the case as well. I also got, um, kind of, I think I kind of know what Kuga's, uh, side effect is right now, okay. I think his side effect is to read people's minds, because in, he's demonstrated this before by being able to tell that people are, ba are, are basically lying. In this episode, it was mainly towards these two a rank border agents when they said that they're the basically said they're the only two here he could basically tell that they were lying and that there were two oh well, it's kind of ambiguous whether he could tell that there actually were two others trying to snipe him or not my guess is that my guess is that he couldn't like they initially thought that he could but he could just tell that they were lying so he knew that there were two others nearby he just didn't know where or what method of attack they were planning on using okay so that's my guess on his side effect anyways which is kind of interesting as well so overall i thought this was once again a really good episode of world trigger it the fight was really good the animation kind of sucked once again but once again you do not watch world trigger for the animation in fact for the most part you don't watch Toei Animations works for the animation, okay? Unless it's in the fight scenes, you don't watch them for the animation. You watch them for the story, the characters, and the fight scenes. And that's pretty much it, okay? <laughs> um, the music, too, because the music in the series is pretty damn good, I do have to admit. So, anyways, uh, tell me your thoughts about this episode in the comment section below. Uh, if you've yet to see this week's episode of World Trigger, then I definitely recommend that you do. I can't wait until next week's episode, as always. So, anyways, uh, overall, hope you enjoyed this review, guys. See you after, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.